Okay, I am here to help you guys with MIDI two assignments to uh, get music into finale, into notation. Um, here is a MIDI file that was sent to me by Mixail Diaz and uh, on Pop Goes the Weasel. Uh, he also sent me a um, PNG file and this one shows the uh, that he has it looking pretty good with a few exceptions okay so a couple of tips here um, again we're looking at a PNG just a picture file over here on the left and on the right is finale here are the playback controls for finale and again uh, Mixio sent me two files which is great and thank you to Mixio by the way uh, for sending uh, the finale file and the picture file because they really it, actually he didn't send a finale file he sent a uh, MIDI file a dot MID file which opens into finale very easily I also uh, opened it in Logic Pro to kind of check it out and I'm not sure exactly what process that Mixil is using and I'm not even sure if I'm saying his name right I hope I am but uh, he can correct me later on that um, but yeah, he, this is great as far as fulfilling the assignment, but there's a few things that can be done to improve it, and also gives me a, a chance to just give you all some tips on Finale. Okay, this is the playback controls, and the new Finale that I'm using, this is, you know, Finale 26.3.1.643. It's one of the latest ones. Um, these are the playback controls, and one thing you always want to click is this leftmost measure, playback from leftmost measure. That way, Finale is not constantly going all the way back to the beginning to play if you don't want it to. Uh, these are short pieces, so most of the time we don't really care, but when you get into longer pieces, it can be a problem. All right, so I'm going to hit the stop button. It goes back to one, and I'll, also a new feature here is... is um, this green button is the only way to make this smaller, which we really want to do. After we, and then open it back up, make sure you click this leftmost measure. Um, all right, we're going to play back in finale, see how it sounds. Etc. Okay, and I'm going to stop it because it repeats. And if you notice over here in his picture file, he did put a repeat at the end, and that's very cool. And he also has a this is called a pickup note, and but it's all in six eight as it should be. And he put a tempo of 140. That's cool. He's got his composer traditional arranged by Mixail Diaz. That's awesome. You could use a, another repeat sign up here. Um, really but it's been a little picky um, but it really should have a repeat sign here and then have the pickup note also in here at the end but as I said this is probably technically okay the way it is the few things that are not technically okay to me are these A sharps okay these should be B flats also it should be in the key signature of F because this piece is an F. You can tell by the, you know, C, F, bum, 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 bum. It's all, you know, basically an F. It goes to B flat at a, at a certain point. And you can see here in this sixth or seventh full measure, there's a B flat in the bass, but an A sharp up here. These A sharps should all be B flats. And certainly these E sharps, these are just F's, okay? So E sharp is just, you know, not a good way to write an F. I mean, there would be a reason and a place and a time to write E sharp, but this this ain't it. Um, so same with all these E sharps should just be F. This A sharp should be B flat. That'll simplify it a lot and we'll use a key signature. Uh, now over here in the finale file, you can see when I brought in the MIDI file, it did a lot of weird things, like it puts a 1-8 measure, 
Then it goes to 6, 8, which is really the time signature we want is 6, 8. So then down here it goes to 5, 8, back to 6, 8, and there's no repeats also. It just plays it straight out, um, which, you know, we want to fit this on one page because it's just a simple little song that should be on one page. So I'm going to try to uh, fix some of these things. I'm going to get this uh, the time signature tool here. With Finale, it's all about having the right tool. I'm going to click on the second measure, double click, and I'm going to say 6 8, and we're going to say 6 8 with two beats to measure. Beat duration is, you know, dotted quarter. And we're going to say measure two through the end of the piece. Okay? And there, it cleans all that up for you right away. Um, this pickup note, okay, that's going to be a little tricky. I'm going to try to do this um, by just going up here to document pickup measure. Okay, and if you forget where that is, you can look under help menu and write pickup and pickup measure, and then it shows you where it is. Okay, and I'm going to say there's a pickup note that is a duration of, uh, well, it's not giving us a lot of choices, and there's a reason for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel this for a second. The reason is because we got this 1-8 measure, I think. So I'm going to try to change this measure also to 6-8. Six, 6-8. Eight. Six, eight. Uh, number of beats, we're going to try this just like the rest of the piece, 2 with a dotted quarter as the beat duration and just measure one through measure one okay so it puts it at the beginning of the measure which is not where we want it but at least we got the right number of beats um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this speedy note entry tool this is a tool that I like to use a lot for just a lot of things putting in notes taking away notes etc so I put my cursor inside there and just delete these rests and then I need to put the rest in front of this note. So I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to hit a five for a quarter note, back up, make that a dotted quarter by hitting a period. And then I'm going to go over this way, hit the shift key again. The shift key allows you to put in a note before the note that the cursor is on. So now I want another quarter. And now I got it the way I want it. Okay. And now. I just want to get rid of this other stuff here and make this a pickup note. So now we should be able to select this measure, choose pickup note, pickup measure, and choose a duration of one eighth note for our pickup. Okay, done. Okay, so see now it looks more like what Mixlayel has, has here in his picture. Um, however, he got to this, I'm not sure, but I would have to ask him. Um, I'm also going to get the repeat tool and put a repeat right here by just double clicking put a forward repeat and then right down here is where it repeats so I'm gonna click here and put a backward repeat boom now I'm gonna get rid of all the rest of this stuff by getting the selection tool select this go to the end hold down the shift key and it selects everything in between then just hit delete and we got what we want Okay, now we looked that he has four measures, but one of them's a pickup note, and the rest of it is three measures. So anyway, we want it to be about four measures to a line, and we don't want this one little measure down here at the end. That's called a widow measure. It's all by itself. We don't want that. So um, the first pickup doesn't really count as a measure. So I'm going to select this measure and all the rest of these by holding the shift key, then I'm going to hit Command Shift M, which is a shortcut for fit measures, four to a line. Now you can set that to whatever you want, but I'm just going to say, yeah, fit it with four to a line. Okay, it does it, except we have one little widow measure up here, and I'm just going to select either part of this and hit the down arrow to push this measure down. Okay, now I've got what I want. Four measures to a line, we've got repeat signs, and so it's all good. Uh, now all I have to do is a few other things to clean this up. Finale will do anything you want it to do. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but 
uh, it will do anything you want it to do. I'm going to click the text tool down here, change the title by double clicking, and then typing in Pop Goes the Weasel. Okay, I think I spelled it wrong. All right, then over here, I'm going to put composer, uh, traditional, and uh, we'll, we'll write it in. We'll just, or just put traditional. We don't have to put composer. You can if you want. And um, then I'm going to double click here and add another text box and write in arranged by Mixail. Diaz. Okay. Um, anyway, now you can see this is the box is on the wrong side. We're going to go over here to text, just uh, alignment, and put a line right. Okay. So now it's aligned to the right with this other thing, the traditional arrange, etc. So we're good there. Okay. Now I'm going to set the key signature. Go down here to the key signature tool. Double click at the very beginning. And we're going to set the key signature to one flat. That's the key of F major. But this is very important right here. We're not transposing the piece. We're just changing the key signature and keeping the notes as they are. So we're going to say hold notes to original pitches inharmonically. Okay? So we'll see how that comes out. It'll keep them as the same pitches. And boom. And that actually fixes all of our A sharps and everything. Uh, because now it's all just diatonic, except for we got one little G7 chord down here or something like that. We'll analyze it later, but uh, one non-diatonic non note down here, which is the uh, B diminished. It's probably 7 diminished of 5 or something like that. But... Uh, He's done a great job with the arrangement, by the way. I love his bass line. I love everything about the arrangement. It's just the look of it and the notation that needs a little work. There's only uh, one other thing that needs help, and that is we don't need to see piano, piano here. Um, but uh, So we need to group these together. I'm going to get the uh, staff tool. And with the staff tool... We are going to make sure we select all. I'm going to hit Command A. I mean, you could just drag like this, you know, but that gets part of it. But we want to make sure we get all of it. So you can drag the whole thing, or you could also just use the shortcut Command A. All right, we have the Staff tool selected. Remember it. And now I'm going to go up here to Staff, the Staff menu. There's a new menu for every tool. And Groups and Brackets, Add. And I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to give it a group name of piano. And then we'll give it a, an abbreviated name of piano. And you'll see why in a second. I'm going to choose this bracket over here, this fancy one that I like. You can choose any one you want or none. But that kind of the whole purpose is we wanted the bracket. That's why we're doing this. And show group name. And this is just showing you which staffs it's going through. Say OK. And now, yeah, we've got these nice brackets. Uh, we can get rid of these duplicate piano names here by going on this this little box right here. For each each staff has a box, and then the group has a box. I'm going to Control click on this box, Edit Staff Attributes, and uncheck staff name in score boom that one's gone same thing here control click this edit staff attributes uncheck staff name in score boom okay now we've got this lovely thing here and you see the abbreviated name is abbreviated because there's less room over here the first one's indented it has room for the full name and anyways it says score at the top we could add more instruments to this the only instrument we have right now is the piano but we'll get into score and parts later. So sometimes, you know, if this was just a piano piece, which is really what it is, we could even get rid of the score title up there and even get rid of the, uh, the piano on each stave because uh, you don't really need it. Let's see what that looks like if we do that just for fun since this is just a piano piece right now. I'm going to try to get rid of that. 
just by deleting it with the text tool and let's go back to our staff tool and I'm going to control click on the piano group attributes and just say don't show the group group name how about that so now we get the lovely little brackets but you know we, we know it's for piano basically it's more or less assumed it's a treble clef and a bass clef so for now it looks pretty clean that way and I was just consulting another piece of music I have over here this is a nocturne from Frederick Chopin and you see it doesn't say piano anywhere on there so I think we're on solid ground here um, anyway so there's just one left one little piece of business left and that is you see a tempo marking here it says quarter note equals 140 which is kind of interesting should probably be dotted quarter note equals something because that's the beat here bum ba bum ba bum ba bum so we're going to put that in here and i'm going to use this tool down here it was just called the expression tool so if you hover over each tool it will say the name of it but it looks like a little mf it's affectionately known as the mf tool which of course means mezzo forte and with that i'll double click up here and this is how we add tempo markings and things like that it's real important that you use the correct tool with finale you don't want to put a tempo mark just with the text tool because we'll discuss why later but for one thing it won't affect the tempo and the tempo marking can affect the tempo if you do it right so we see one down here that's pretty close it says dotted quarter or this says quarter equals 120 um, all right we will we'll see if we can duplicate that one and see if we can edit it a little bit uh, edit and I'm gonna write in here um, I want to get rid of that quarter note and I want to insert a note that is a dotted quarter note and you know he added at 140 we may want to add a little to that if we want to keep the tempo the same he had it going pretty fast so we'll say one not 1150 that would be really fast 150 and then we'll click on this little playback button and say match playback to the metronome marking text okay so it should do that it should play at this speed dotted quarter equals 150 all right say okay and then assign and there it is and you can you know adjust the positioning of it to your liking and uh let's try it let's play it back So there you have it, a successful piece of music, looks good and sounds good. Okay, and uh, we could add chords to it, we'll save that for a later video. Thanks a lot everybody.